The Misery Islands are made up of the 87-acre Great Misery Island and the 4-acre Little Misery Island, situated in the Salem Sound in Massachusetts. In 1629, a shipbuilder named Robert Moulton went to the islands to cut wood. Unfortunately for him, an early snowstorm rolled in and stranded Moulton on the islands for three days. He described his ordeal as three days of misery, and for a long time the islands were called Moulton's Misery, later being shortened to just the Misery Islands. In 1900, the Misery Island Syndicate bought the land and built the Misery Island Club which would later become the Misery Island Hotel and Casino, featuring guest cottages, a tennis court, and golf course. Tournaments and regattas attracted Boston and North Shore socialites, but the hotel fell on hard times only a year after opening and closed due to bankruptcy. Later, the landowners sold off 25 lots to private parties who built summer cottages on them. However, in 1926, a devastating brush fire destroyed many of the summer cottages and also the hotel and casino. The fire was blamed on the surrounding brush, but many of the residents believed it may have been set by visitors from the mainland because the fire happened during the off-season when owners were not there and cottages were empty. Today, little remains but a few pillars. This was not the only unfortunate event to happen on Misery Island. In 1904, a steamship wrecked on the island's rocky shore after becoming lost in a fog. In 1935, both of the islands were established as nature reserves, and today the island is uninhabited, but visitors can hike the walking trails showcasing views of the North Shore and Salem Sound. <laughs>